In today's quick tip, I'm going to explain to you how we take photographs of ourselves and the one piece of gear that we use so you could do it too. I know earlier this week I said that my next video was going to be about goals and what's going on with this channel for the year, but I got the sickness that Morgan had last week, but I got it this week, so the last two days I've been like totally down and out. So next week's quick tip is now this week's quick tip. Before we jump into today's quick tip though, make sure that you like this video because it helps a ton. Oh, and share this with somebody. If you learn something from one of these quick tips, send it to your friend, tell them. Okay, today's quick tip is an answer to a question I get all the time and it's how do we take the photos that we get of ourselves. As Morgan and I have traveled around the world and, and just here in San Diego, we take a lot of photos that are the two of us in the photo. And people ask, how'd you do that? In fact, most of my favorite photos of Morgan and I, and now of Morgan, me, and Eleanor, are selfies, kind of. They're photos that we took of ourselves. Like one of my all-time favorites, this photo of Morgan and I on the beach in sombreros. And technically, it's a selfie. It was also the photo that we used for our wedding save the dates. Still one of my favorite photos that we've ever taken together, and it was technically a selfie. Or this one that we got at the top of Castle Rock in Big Bear, and even a few that we shot during the hike up to Castle Rock. Or this one we got from a hike we did in Lake Tahoe. This photo here that we got at the top of Angel's Landing at Zion. A sweet one we got up in San Francisco when we rented a motorcycle for the day. Oh, and one of the most special photos we've ever taken is moments after Eleanor was born, I was able to get this photo of the three of us together in the hospital room. That photo is seriously like, like three minutes after Eleanor came out. Even from this last trip that we did to the big island of Hawaii, my favorite photos are when we did this little photo shoot in Waipio Valley, I set up the tripod and, and we got these sweet photos of us as a family in Waipio Valley. It was so good. So how do we take those photos? Do we just hit the 10 second timer on the camera and then I, and then I run into the photo and we get one and then I run back out and I run back in? Is, is that what we do? No, that is not what we do. What we do is we bring along one thing with us that makes taking photos of ourselves infinitely easier. Oh, by the way, I got a new, I got a new tech pouch. It's the one by Peak Design. Morgan got it for me for Christmas. And in that tech pouch, I keep a intervalometer. Oh yeah, it's an intervalometer. Very interesting. Boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> this thing is always with us when we travel. Even if I just wanna go take sweet photos of myself, I need this thing. And the reason is that it's basically a 10 second self timer, but way better and way more, way more expensive. This one's like 50 bucks. And our setup with the intervalometer is, is super easy. Let me, get a, let me get a camera built real quick. So basically what we do is we set up a tripod of some kind Normally it's the tripod that the camera's on right now, but can't show you that. I will link it in the description though for you. We get the camera onto the tripod. I get Morgan and now Morgan and Eleanor all set up in this perfect spot. I get it all dialed in and I'm like, boom, here we go. Ooh, get my settings just right. And then as soon as my settings are right, I take a couple test shots. I make sure it looks good. That's what I like. And then, and then on this guy, there's a couple of settings that I use and pretty much I don't use anything else. This thing can do a bunch of stuff. You can do time lapses, you can do long exposures, you can just do manual release by just pressing the button. But the main thing we use it for is the self timer and the interval firing mechanism. I don't know. Okay, with the interval timer, I turn it on. And once it's on, I'm gonna go over to self timer. I'm gonna set that to 10 seconds or 15 seconds or if Morgan is really far away in the shot, maybe 30 seconds sometimes, or if I have like rocks to climb up, 30 seconds. And then I switch over to how long, I leave that at zero, because I'm gonna let my camera decide how long. And then interval, I set to either one second, two seconds, or three seconds. And once that's all done, I plug that into my, into my camera. And now this thing can fire my camera. If I press the button on here, my camera shoots. And with that 10 second self timer and two second interval setup, we'll set it to one. So right now it's a 10 second self timer and a one second interval. I hit start on this and then I 
and then I run into the picture. I go run to where Morgan's at. So right now, four, three, two, and I've left this, I've walked away. My camera just continually takes a picture every second. So we can stand there and go, and then we can like, and then we can do, we can do different things. We can do whatever we want. My camera is continually taking a photo every second until I come back and I hit stop or my battery dies. And this thing is really the key to how we get all the cool photos that we get. Without this thing, the self timer, you're pressing it, it's running for 10 seconds, you gotta run in there, hope that you get that one shot and boom, you nailed it. And then you run back and you look at it and you go, we gotta do it again. And you hit it again and you gotta run. <sighs> and some of the places that you wanna set up these cool shots, it's like far away. It's like you gotta run up something to get to where where your other person is or where you wanna be. And not to leave out you solo travelers either. If you wanna do this by yourself, you totally can. Just manual focus on a spot that you know you wanna stand, maybe a rock, you're like, I'm gonna stand on that rock right there. Get all focused in, get all perfect. Hit start on here, run in there and stand all cool. Maybe you're looking away from the camera, you're like, mm. Looking really cool, like like this photo. That's me looking all cool, or trying to look all cool. I have Tevas on, so not that cool. <laughs> and again, intervalometers are used for all sorts of other things as well. But the main thing we use it for is, is glorified selfies. So there you go. That is your quick tip for the week. Go get yourself an intervalometer, set the timer for 10 seconds, set the interval for one or two seconds, and then go take sweet shots of you maybe by yourself, or your significant other, or your family, whatever you wanna do. So next time you're out traveling, you'll have this, instead of handing your super expensive camera to some stranger, and then finding out a minute later that they suck at taking photographs. You want something done right, boy, you gotta do it yourself. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description to the one that I use. This is for Sony though, specifically this little adapter bit fits Sony. So if you shoot Canon, or you shoot Nikon, or you shoot something other than Sony, don't buy this one, follow that link, and then find your camera, because you need the right, the right bit that goes, it'd be nice if they just put USB-C ports on cameras, and then we wouldn't have this problem. But in the meantime, if you want an intervalometer, make sure you're getting the right one for your camera. And that's it guys, that is your quick tip for the week, next week. I'll talk about goals. My goal is that next week we'll talk about goals. Again, if this video was helpful for you guys in any way, hit the like button, pretty please. Subscribe if you wanna hear more things like this in the future, and tune in next week to hear about goals and all that jazz. Everybody should have an intervalometer. <laughs>